You've heard that the bird is the word, and there's another saying that tells us a picture is worth a thousand words. So what then is a picture of a bird worth? Somebody thought the answer to that question was so important, they built an entire holiday around it. Draw a picture of a bird day may sound silly, but some of the biggest names in art have taken the subject very seriously, including artists with ties to Maine. Winslow Homer is one of them. Seabirds would have been a common sight at his home on the coast in Scarborough. Here's his painting of two ducks titled Right and Left. It's in the collection of the National Gallery of Art, and the write-up on the museum's website calls it the culminating achievement of Homer's career. Jamie Wyeth is another icon of the Maine arts community. Generations of his family of artists have taken inspiration from their home on Monhegan Island. Wyeth created a series of paintings of seagulls acting out the seven deadly sins. I mean, they are nasty, vicious birds, and whenever I see them painted by various people, they always do them as sort of white doves and very, well, if you know anything about seagulls, I mean, they're, which I love about them, and so I, it seemed to me a perfect fit. The Farnsworth Art Museum in Rockland devoted an exhibition to that series about a dozen years ago, but you can still see digital versions of the paintings on the museum's website. Maybe the most admired artist among bird watchers is David Sibley. His Sibley Guide to Birds combines his expert knowledge of ornithology with lush illustrations. Our New England birds are the ones he sees the most from his home in Massachusetts. I look to live in a place um, in, out in the countryside on a, an old farm. So I just walk out the back door and I'm out in the fields and woods. By celebrating that shared love of art and nature, Draw a Picture of a Bird Day turns the entire state of Maine into one big outdoor museum and admission is free.